Hi everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2 Covert Infiltration. So, before we do the retaliation, I might actually get this workshop bonus. Because with Covert Infiltration, building a workshop and a lab is more beneficial. Because then you won't have to use the crew limit for engineers or scientists. I might actually build a workshop and a lab as a result. So we could do this covert ops right here. Before it goes away. To reduce the overall cost of building workshops by 50%. There's no risk of an ambush. Let's just do this then. And we can get plus one health for someone. Maybe for Greg. 4 HP for an assault is a little bit low. Send a scientist. And that's optional slot, but we can send someone. We can send unstable voltage here. Okay, looks good. So now we can do the retaliation right here. I think my group got reset. All right, I fixed it. Now is the group that I prepared at the end of the previous episode. So, Technical, Akimbo, Skirmisher, Grenadier, Shinobi, and a Ranger. I don't think I can get anything better for them at the moment. I can get a nanoscale vest or two, but I don't think I want to use one right now. Alright, let's go then. Guide in position for deployment. We're heading in to secure the area. Eliminate all enemy contacts. Oh, I think this is going to be one of the new maps I'm using. Because I have a few map modes I haven't used before. This looks like one of them. Yeah, this is definitely one of them. Alright. Pretty weird map to use for retaliation, but okay, might be interesting. So here's the first group already. It's that kind of retaliation. Probably the harder version of this. I assume there's going to be an enemy group in range. Got some yeah, right here. Let's see if we can take them out. At least one of them. Hey, come back here. Uh, that's a bit inconvenient. Uh, actually, we can do this. Grapple. And then I should be in range for a flanking shot. Yes, I am. Very nice. Only 51%. That's pretty bad for a flanking shot, but I am getting a penalty for weapon range. Still, a flanking shot is a flanking shot. One more, come on, at least one hit. There it is. I'll take it. He's going to be a little bit too far away for a kill, at least I think so. But at least we did some damage. I'm pretty sure it's too far away. Best I can do is use overwatch. We can take a shot with Clara. That will do at least one damage because I have stock on her. There it is. He's down to half. That's going to be it, basically. Now I can overwatch on the left or something. Alright, overwatch. And overwatch. We should get some shots. If he decides to move closer. Roger. I've got my eyes on. He might just target Ramela. Okay, here's the chosen. It's the assassin. Templars. Well, I don't have a Templar in this group, unfortunately. Regenerates lost health. Takes additional damage from three or more attacks in a single turn. I can try to take advantage of that. We'll see. Yeah, I noticed. But thanks for the update. Here comes Overwatch. Uh, yeah, it did. Alright, this is fine. And the other guy is on Overwatch. And another Sectoid. He didn't see me. Did he? Oh yeah, no, he did. Okay. So, two sectoids now.
Let's see if our friends can do some damage. No? Enemy patrol on the move. Another one. There's the assassin. It would be nice to kill the assassin early, but easier said than done. Ignoring the sectoids could be a risky proposition, if they might control someone. On the other hand, ignoring the assassin is also risky. It's one of the elders chosen. Yeah, I know this. But there is dignity in death to a superior opponent. Well, I should definitely shred that one armor. So we will do that. Somebody should do that. I'll have to move closer to make that happen. Uh, this might be too far away. It might have to be Clara. Uh, or... Ava. I would prefer to slash the sectoid with Ava. That's my best chance to finish off that sectoid. Yeah, let's finish off the sectoid. I'm not too worried about that trooper. There, and we got some loot. Give me something useful. Elarium core, any data cache. All right, that's fine. Now, I can probably kill the trooper over here. Possibly. I can take a flanking shot. Let's go with that. Only 53%. Okay, we got him. Nice. And now, I need to shred that one armor. Can I kill the sectoid on this turn? That seems like a stretch. It's possible. Okay, I do have a chance to kill him with pistol whip. It is slightly risky because it's only 65%. But what the heck, let's give it a shot. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, got it. Very nice. So that leaves us with one trooper somewhere in this vicinity. And obviously the assassin. Probably best to just keep that grenade for the next turn. Because right now, if I destroy the cover, that won't really benefit me too much. I already moved with most of my squad. Now, I don't want to spread out a little bit, but not too much. Because when someone gets dazed, another group member will have to go and help. And if somebody will get dazed, it's gonna happen. I could overwatch here. I'm on it. Okay, so overwatch. Move a little bit closer. Probably just overwatch. There is still one more trooper. We might be able to kill him with overwatch. Uh, that would be best. I would prefer that. I'm ready. Okay, Overwatch. Oh, he's all the way in the back. All right. Commander, Advent is backing off. Here comes the assassin. Yeah, we can do a little bit of damage. I'll take it. She will regenerate lost health, unfortunately. Okay, that's annoying. Dazed. I do have a med kit, but I only have one. Okay, that's not too bad. I could use a grenade there, I think. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot grapple for one more turn, which is very disappointing. Yeah, I don't know where exactly the assassin is. So this is a little bit tough to do. I could dash up here and find out. Let's try to go here and see if that's enough. I just need to see where the assassin is exactly. Yeah, no, it's not enough. I need to actually move in. And even then, there's no guarantee I'll see her. But I don't have to kill her. I can't just ignore her, obviously. Absolutely. I just want to blast her with a grenade. Okay, and make her fall to the ground. That's the idea. 
Can we throw one with Ramela here? Maybe if I move closer. Clearly not like this. Yeah, I don't think you can do it without being closer. What about an actual grenadier here? So that would work. This might be a slight waste uh, of a grenade from a grenadier. But I think it's fine. This might or might not blow up the floor. The idea here is to make the assassin fall to the ground. That's the idea. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. Alright, what the heck, let's give it a shot. I will reload first, since this will end my turn anyway. Let's give it a shot. Hopefully it will work. Only one way to find out. It might or it might not. It will shred her one armor, so at least there's that. There it is, it worked. Perfect. So now she will also take some fall damage. Oh, Ava also fell. Uh, that's not quite what I was looking for. Yeah, okay, that's not quite what I was looking for. Wow, it might like the whole floor collapse. I didn't think that will happen actually, but all right, apparently it did. Uh, this is actually not great. Reload. And take a shot. I must improve. She still has partial cover, which is very disappointing. I need to help Rocky. Yeah, I didn't think I will destroy that much of the floor. I thought it's going to be like a tile or two, maybe three. Not the entire floor. You've come for your friend. An honorable, if not foolish, decision. I don't even think he can do more damage right now. I'm pretty sure that's not happening. Maybe Clara can do it. Well, she can take two shots. It won't be a very high chance, but alright. I'll take it. One more. With three or more hits, we will start getting a bonus. But that's basically my turn. So Ava is in trouble here. I really did not think that floor will collapse that much. With that said, uh, the assassin shouldn't target Ava here. Okay, yeah. That's happening. That's blind. Only two people got blinded. I can live with that. I was hoping that would hit and remove the overwatch. There's a large group of civilians pinned down yeah, we know, Bradford. Can't you see we're busy? Just, you know, in case you haven't noticed, we are just a tiny little bit busy. Now I can use Grapple to get a flank. Let's go with that. Hopefully not miss this time around. It will be an actual high ground as well. Off you go. Shame we don't have the skirmisher bonus. Uh, right, she missed. Threat increasing. I suppose I could have used the grenade first to remove that overwatch. Okay, 94%. Please don't amaze this. Yep. One more. She's going down. I need what? Like two more damage? Yep, two more damage. We got a flanking shot with Ava here. I can also slash her. 77. An actual shot might be a little bit higher. Uh, not much higher, I guess. Please don't miss. I know I can throw a grenade, but I want to save grenades when possible. We got her. So that was a bit of a sloppy kill, I'll be honest. But she's dead and I didn't lose anyone. That's the important part. The first retaliation mission with the first chosen is always a little bit tricky to do. So I'm glad that part is kind of, sort of done. It's not actually done yet because we still have to kill Advent and I still have to save people. 
which I might or might not be able to do now. I do have one use of the med kit. Not quite sure who I'm going to use it on. We'll see about that. Probably on Ava. I could save it for someone who might get critically wounded, but the idea is to not have anyone be critically wounded. Oh, there's still that asshole on the left. I completely forgot about him. I actually forgot about him and he almost killed me. Okay, I was really, really lucky right there. Uh, this person was not as lucky. I was really lucky right there. I literally, honestly forgot about him. Sneaky bastard. Hopefully the resistance people can actually like defend themselves for a little bit. There is a non-zero chance I will actually not be able to rescue six people. But we'll see. This is taking a while. Oh, don't tell me it's going to freeze right after I killed the Chosen. No, it's fine. I was worried for a moment that I'll have to load autosave. Nice shot, bro. <laughs> Not. You guys done shooting yet? Any day now. Okay, no resistance. Make yourself useful. There we go. I'll take it. I don't have to finish that guy off before I move on. And I missed. Not much of a beast, are you? You don't deserve that nickname. That's better. A crit for two damage. <laughs> Another one? You tried. Okay, no longer blinded. Right, I have to kill this guy and he has full cover. I suppose I could just throw a grenade, but that feels like a waste. Am I close enough to hit him in the face? Yes, I am. If I miss this, that will be a bit awkward, because that will also make it harder to use a grenade. But still, this is my best chance to actually kill him here. A trick shot would have worked too. Uh, too late, because trick shot ignores cover bonuses, but it's only a main hand weapon damage. To help the other survivors. Okay, so he saved four. Okay, I didn't see four, but if you say so, <laughs> I'm not going to dispute that claim. Let's go. Alright, reload, obviously. The next one is over here. Alright. Understood. Moving out. I will have to dash with at least some people here. Move, move, move. Otherwise, I will be too slow. Still got that one med kit. There. Yeah, I think I'll just use it on Ava, but we'll see about that. No I still got my rocket, that should come in handy. And let's move left here towards the building. Like so. Both of you. Clara can move a bit closer. Yeah, I don't want to do anything overly crazy here. I hope it's worth it. For obvious reasons. That's it. So we know there's a group on the far side of the building. Okay, here's a group. Alright, I saw this one earlier. And over here. Yeah, that guy had a bad time. Yeah, so three groups. This is still going to be a little bit tricky. I don't know if I can save enough people here. We will really have to hurry up with this. 
I suppose it's not the end of the world if I fail, but I would prefer not to. Nice shot. That's not so nice, but all right. I suppose he did have full cover there. One more. Nope. Okay, my turn. Let's see now. Am I close enough to do something? I'll have to take care of this group right here. I'm still a little bit far away. Grapple is still on cooldown, so I can't grapple forward. I do have to trigger them. I don't think I can afford to wait. There's not a whole lot of full cover around here. That part is slightly concerning. This might be a good moment to use the rocket launcher. But first, I have to move forward to trigger them. So let's move up with Ava. I wish he had more than one health right now. Or that grapple was not on the cooldown. There. So I need them to stay close to each other if possible. Yeah, that didn't quite happen. I might be too far away for the rocket. Yeah, no, I'm too far away for the rocket. And again, not a whole lot of full cover I can move into and then shoot. That's a nice flanking shot. Nice, very nice. Six damage. Can I kill him? He has two health left. Well, I could try to kill him with Ava, but I really risk getting him killed. A Clara can do it instead. She has 5 health at least. Alright, and if I miss, she'll still do 1 damage with stock. But I would prefer not to miss. Got him! Okay, so I got one. Alright. That's good. Devilish needs to be way, way closer. I still do have teamwork. We can use that later. Oh, there's loot back here. Man, I don't know if I have the time to get this. But let's get the lot, I suppose. It better be worth it. Supplies, 36. That's probably worth it. Probably worth it. Okay, fine. Was there another crate somewhere? Probably, but that's the only one I can see at the moment. We have two more dudes over here. I don't remember what they were. As for Ava, yeah, not sure about this. Let's just heal him up, all right? I'll feel a little bit safer when he has more than one HP. Here, back to fall with you. Now he can move forward. This is fine. They were back here. Behind the truck. So I can afford to move forward still. I will have a grapple up on the next turn. Okay, well, let's just move closer. Now I have to be careful with Rocky. They will likely yeah, target the resistance people. Unfortunately. Or fortunately, <laughs> depends on your point of view. Better if they die uh, than my soldiers. Yeah. Okay, at least one of them missed. But I have to get there quickly, or this will get ugly. Okay, good. Yeah, Devalish is going to be way behind. On the move. This is probably the best moment to take advantage of teamwork. 
because I can do that. I don't have to be closer, like way closer. On my way. Still got that rocket. Alright, 48%. Let's take that shot, I suppose. Got it? That's so, right. in this situation, I don't really need teamwork. Might as well save it for the next turn and move closer instead. Yep. Don't need it right now. So, Grappo is up, but I also don't need it right now. Can I even get a shot on, uh, like, anything at all? I dubbed it. There's a solid wall right here. <laughs> and here. On my way. So, even though the other groups are technically kind of close, I cannot get line of sight to them. I just can't, because of this building. It will have to wait. So let's dash forward with Clara. She might see something. Yeah, she can see one guy. Right here, all the way back there. A sniper with high ground would be useful right about now. Uh, let's run as far as possible here with Ramela. Then I can try to utilize Grapple on the next turn. Yeah, run up as much as I can. Maybe Overwatch here. This guy might move and then I might get a shot with Overwatch. Let's go with that. Okay, he moved but in the wrong direction. I assume most of the people in this room will die, but let's find out. This is quite a few dudes. Come on, buddy. Do some damage. Nice one. I think that's just him left. No, uh, one more person over here. Uh, the other one is a civilian. So now we can probably use teamwork. I'm still too far away to use a rocket launcher. Uh, actually... Yeah, no, I'm too far away. And if I move, the scatter will be really, really bad. Even now, it's two tiles. So, I can get a flank here. Wait, no, hold on. Do we use grapple? Probably best to save it. Let's just move up and see what's going on. Maybe throw a grenade instead. So, there they are. So, now they will trigger. If they move closer, I might still be able to get a good rocket. They just need to move a bit closer. And the only downside is that if the rocket moves too far in the wrong direction, I will kill this guy over here, Demon. So that's the downside. This is not ideal. But it could work. I also have a grenade. Like a regular grenade. Yeah, I don't think this will work. I'm just a little bit too far away and this wall is getting in the way. However, a rocket might be good. I mean, a frag grenade right here with the grenadier. I can't see a whole lot. I can almost certainly kill these two guys. I'm just a little bit worried about the stun lancer. So this could work. Justice is 77%. So maybe that's not a bad idea. 77% on this guy. What the heck? Let's go with that, actually. Oh, I missed. <laughs> well, never mind then. So much for that plan. You tried. And failed. Miserably. Position confirmed. Time for plan B. Which is blast them. I hate ignoring a stun lancer, but he's just in such an awkward position that there's no way I can kill him. I could maybe kill the other one in the back, but he's still a bit too far away. Unfortunately, I can't destroy the pillar, but now he's down to one health, which means Clara will be able to kill him. 
She can kill both because she can take two shots. And this is a guaranteed kill because of stock. Got it. So now we have two star lancers and a trooper. I still got that rocket. And it's still not that useful on this turn. I'm afraid. No, it is not. Not much else I can really do. I do have Ava, but yeah, again, there's not much he can do here. We can try to do something. So I could frag one of them, but that would be a waste. Yeah, honestly, I think Overwatch is my best move in this situation. Absolutely. Yeah. And I just dash with the Valish. If he was a little bit closer, I could use Flashbang, but unfortunately he's not. Not on this turn anyway. He will be able to use Flashbang on the next turn. Hopefully it's not too late by then. It shouldn't be. On Overwatch. I'm mostly a bit worried uh, that the Star Lancer will rush me. I'll get him next time. Okay, no, he's not rushing me, but there's one more Star Lancer. Oh, that was a faceless. Wait. So they attacked a civilian faceless? I thought that they wanted to do that. Maybe the mod changed that. But generally speaking, Advent does not attack faceless disguised as civilians. But alright. Okay then. I guess now I can use a grenade or a rocket without worrying that I'll kill a civilian. <laughs> so he did me a favor by killing her, you know? From a certain point of view. Now I can use a flashbang as well. So who's where? This is still a very awkward positioning. Like, it really is. One thing I can also do is kill that trooper with melee. But it's also not guaranteed. I need to blow up some of this stuff. It would be nice to actually see them. So, yeah, rocket will not work like this. I would have to move first. That will give me really terrible scatter, but that might be my best chance to use a rocket. It's not ideal. But it might have to be it. This is such a terrible idea. Okay, 1.92, I can live with that. Okay, what the heck, let's use a rocket like this. Uh, that should hit them with no risk to hit me. There we go. Okay, that works. That's actually great. Not only we hit them, we destroyed all of the cover over there. So now I should be able to finish them off, hopefully. Where's Clara? Right here. She can even take a shot. Very nice. Okay, that's actually perfect. Please don't miss. There it is. We got a crit. Yes, I'm happy now. Almost. I'll be happier when they are all dead. And the grenade them. Okay, I can't grenade them both. That's a bit disappointing. Okay, I have to think about this for a second. I don't want to kill both the Stun Lancer and the Faceless right now. I got the grapple, but that won't really help me too much. I can flank the stun lancer here or shoot the faceless twice. It would be best if somebody else flanked uh, the stun lancer. Okay, let's go with that. That needs to hit. 71%. No, it did not. Damn it. I don't want the Faceless to hit me in the face. Man, I hate that I can't grenade the Lancer with Clara here. But I just can't. There's no... Oh, hold on. I can, but I'll have to not hit the Faceless. 
in other words, I can only grenade one of them, but not both. Okay, let's grenade the Stun Lancer then. The Stun Lancer is more dangerous than the Faceless. Not that Faceless is not dangerous, but out of these two, I'd rather take down the Stun Lancer. Now we can grenade them. I'll just take two shots. Hold on, let's take one shot at the Faceless and then throw a grenade. That works. Here, then throw a grenade, kill the Faceless and kill the Stun Lancer. There it is, very nice. Now I can grab the loot and we have one dude left. Maybe I can kill him. Now I can use trick shot. I just need to get actual line of sight. I'm on it. So now we can use trick shot, which will ignore cover. 63%. Got him. I think we're done now. Okay, we are done. We sent the chosen back to their masters. Unlocked rank sergeant. Very nice. If they decide to face us again, we'll be. That assassin kill was a little bit sloppy, but we did it. And no deaths. I was a little bit worried at one point. I mean, I totally had it all along. It was 100% calculated, as always. Never not had it. Everyone got promoted. Yeah, Ava will be wounded for a month, but hey, at least he's alive, right? Blade Master seems like a no-brainer. Yep. Devilish. Right, so I don't have all the akimbo abilities memorized. Pistol shot, trick shot, leg shot, checkmate, unload and funfire no longer end turn. Yeah, that is very nice, actually. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, right, normally he can't get funfire, so the funfire part is for compatibility purposes. Uh, that's still nice. Repeat melee attacks against the same target have a 75% chance to disorient. Melee attacks against disoriented enemies have a 75% chance to stun. Additionally, melee attacks against disoriented or stunned enemies will shred one armor for each hit. Okay, that's interesting. Gain a standard action point at the start of your next turn does not cost action points. Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Free turn cooldown. I'm getting that one, I think. It's a tough one because bullet time is good too. That's a really, really tough one. I'm not totally sure what I want here. Thing is, an extra action point will allow him to move more, flank people, hit targets further away. It just gives him more mobility and more tactical flexibility. So does bullet time, but this gives him more mobility too. It's a tough one, but I think right now I prefer preparation. Okay, preparation. I like having that extra mobility and being able to flank things. Next up, Rocky. Right, so that's going to be biggest bombs, probably. Now, a Napalm is nice. Being able to panic enemies with a flamethrower is actually pretty good. So this isn't as obvious as it seems. I might actually grab a Napalm here. Even if I don't go for a pure flamethrower build, and I'm not. But being able to panic enemies can be really useful. And while getting crits with explosions isn't too bad, it's pretty low chance to make that happen. Okay, what the heck, let's take that. I'm pretty sure this will save my ass at least a few times in the future. Next up, Ramela. So that's going to be total combat. 
so that throwing a grenade will not end our turn. We can also get plus two damage for grenades. Uh, maybe once he gets more AP. Uh, I can't do it right now anyway. Next stop. Uh, needle grenades, probably. So explosives will not destroy loot when they kill enemies. Rapid deployment is also nice. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of a tough one. Loot is not as big of a deal here as it is in Long War of the Chosen. In Long War of the Chosen, loot is a huge deal. It's massive. And also corpses are a huge deal. Here, not so much. But this is super useful in Long War of the Chosen to not destroy corpses. Because corpses and missions you can get corpses from are extremely limited. So this is on average way more valuable. Here I'm leaning towards rapid deployment. I will actually take rapid deployment, I think. Okay, rapid deployment. And finally, Clara, uh, that's going to be walk fire. It's still useful even with stocks. Again, relatively more useful in long war because it doesn't have stocks. As in, stocks do not do guaranteed damage there. But I still like that. Okay, I still like it. Alright, I think that's it. That's everyone. 36 supplies, one Alarium core, one data cache, one repeater, and a bunch of corpses. Alright? Sounds good. New objectives added. Black side. Commander, Commander. We've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. So, okay. Now. Yeah, yeah. We have a lead black side. Alien black side. But we'll have to rely Stadium with supplies. To actually get us into the facility. So there's the chosen. Try to make contact with their we have to finish to that scientist. It's the only way we're going to find out what's behind this so-called avatar. So there's the hunt Our for the assassin. Will put us right in the middle of chosen territory, Commander. There's a good chance they'll show up to interfere, so we should plan accordingly. We will unlock the black market in three days. Undoing, Commander. If you would seek a fight with me, I hope Gain ability points. Okay. Recover experimental item. This would be useful. But I don't want to send too many people all at once. Let's check our roster really quick. I got quite a few wounded people. Yeah, I could maybe do one more covert action. But I don't want to send rookies because I don't want them to be promoted to a random class. I want to pick what class they are going to be. We've had our suspicions. In fact, I think I would like to finish Guerrilla Tactics School ASAP. So let's finish it a little bit faster, then we'll go back to clearing the debris. I want it done as quickly as possible. So let's go finish off the scientist here. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through. Supplies. You have made considerable progress. Countering dark events. Advent has only just begun its counterinsurgency operations. While there is only a single dark event this month, Advent will accelerate their efforts and eventually bring free against us each month. The Resistance will investigate and prepare activity chains to neutralize each dark event, but their intelligence is limited. Each region you have contacted will be sufficient to discover one random dark event each month. This means that if you control two regions, and Advent prepares three dark events, only two of them will be available to be countered. Furthermore, those two may not be the ones you wish to counter. Activity chains in the preparation stage can be monitored using the chain overview screen in the commander's quarter. Alright then, interesting. 
So high alert. Excom will not be concealed at the start of missions. That's pretty bad. We definitely want to get rid of that. So let's see. Counter chosen activity. And I can't do it because I don't have anyone high enough rank. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Commander's quarters. Yeah, activity chains. In the top right corner of the screen, you can see the current number of informants. These resistance sympathizers hidden in advent controlled areas are the key to XCOM's global operations. Informants gather data and report back to XCOM, revealing new opportunities for our soldiers to investigate. With our current number, you can expect our informants to uncover a new activity chain about every two weeks. The Advent Administration in our starting region is already completely penetrated. If you want to increase the number of resistance informants at your disposal, you will need to contact new regions or build more radio relays. Alright. Activity chains. An activity chain is a set of activities that must be completed in sequence to gain a large reward at the end of the chain. These activities can include assault missions, covert infiltrations, and covert actions. While the main reward is usually given at the end of the chain, the earlier missions are still beneficial for XP and the loot, and often include secondary rewards. Activity chain stages are semi-randomized, the structure of each chain and the final stage is usually the same, but the mission types and rewards of the prep stages will be varied. Activity chains are discovered over time by resistance informants and presented to XCOM for analysis. For more info, click the View Chain button at the top of the screen or visit Commander's Quarters to open the chain overview. Okay, so this is the chain overview. These two ended, this is the current one we got. So again, I can't do this right now because I don't meet the requirements. A bit disappointing, but all right. Let's finish the scientist. There's the black market. And we got two rookies promoted, good. Let's check them out really quick. Right now, I mostly still need everything. Maybe except for the technical for now. Okay, second Akimbo, that's good. Aim could have been better, but all right. Good mobility, that's decent for an Akimbo. And the Tarkin. Shinobi. And that's fine. Okay, that's actually fine. Works for me. So, back to the bridge. Let's check what we want to do now. Aborting covert operations. Once a covert operation has begun, the team enters radio silence to avoid advent detection. Contacting them and bringing them home will become more difficult the deeper they venture into advent territory. After a certain point, the intel cost to locate and extract a team may become high enough that you should simply let them complete their mission and return home. In the case of covert infiltrations, sometimes the best course of action is to let them infiltrate to 100% and begin their mission and then send a Sky Ranger to evacuate them. However, this method is not viable all the time as the pickup zone is pre-placed in some mission types. Okay. Well, I really want to counter chosen activity, but I can't. What else can we do here? Plus 5 hacking. Resistance order. All black market costs reduced by 33%. Recover useful items. So, no risk of an ambush here. I might do this one. I can't do the Reaper yet. I could also get the ability points and plus 4 aim for someone. Ability points will definitely be useful. And the plus 5 hacking also wouldn't hurt. But I only have a single specialist. So if I get a mission that kind of requires a specialist right now, I will not have one available. I think it's best if we do the ability points here. Get plus 4 aim for someone. Let's see, who could use some aim? 
a lot of people could. Technically, everyone could. Could send Quagger. Okay, let's send Quagger. 61 is a bit on the low side. Do I want to send another rookie? We could send one rookie, okay. Hey, I could also hire some rookies. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I can actually get some rookies. Right here. So, let's just grab them from top to bottom. They are a little bit more expensive. So let's get the one, and I have to watch my crew limit. We'll get one rookie, and check the stats, and then we can do this. So what are the stats? Uh, okay, he can be pretty much any class, I suppose. And the plus four aim uh, for Quagger. Alright, that works. Let's go. I don't care about them getting one dead. I'm not paying 25 intel for that. Sorry. Understood. Off you go then. I don't think I want to do yet another one. That might be pushing it. Ambush, ambush. I could recover some items. So this only requires two people. And we would get plus one health. I need to have a viable squad for deployment. So let's see. Plus one health. Health on Shinobi is definitely useful. I could still send a rookie if I really want to. Okay, let's send one rookie. I leave the three that I still have to pick my own classes. This is fine. Okay, go. But that's it. I'm not sending any more for now. We got the scientist. So now I'll grab the supplies. Avenger. That's only three days. School. There's the Guerrilla Tactics School. So now... Okay, Guerrilla Tactics School changes. The Guerrilla Tactics School now has two training slots, and instead of training rookies to squaddies, it now has a max training rank value. Any soldier under that rank can be staffed to train up to max training rank. The current max training rank can be seen in top right. Soldiers are promoted by one rank every time they are staffed. You can choose to staff them multiple times, if needed, to reach max training rank. If the staffed soldier is a rookie, you may choose which class they will be promoted to. Training a soldier from rookie to squaddy takes slightly longer than other rank increases. The max training rank starts at squaddy, but can be increased to corporal and sergeant through a resistance order and an upgrade in the guerrilla tactics school. I kind of like that change. But yes, I need another sharpshooter. And then another specialist. So Longstrider has 70 aim. And only 11 mobility. And they all have kind of bad mobility. But one of them will be a sharpshooter. That can be Longstrider. It's that dark. seems reasonable. He also has the lowest health, the and sharpshooters don't care world. too much about health. So he seems to be the best candidate here. So that's going to be it. Yes, I want to proceed. So sharpshooter. Here you go. And then I can also set up another person. 100 supplies needed for infiltration 1. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably want that uh, at some point. But I can live without that for now. Who will be a specialist? I could also use a second ranger. So Nadia could be a ranger. Pretty bad mobility, but oh well. Good aim. Good health. Yeah, I definitely want another ranger. And then I suppose Roar could be a specialist. 
I could still pay for another person, but 45 supplies is a little bit much. Yeah, it's a little bit much. Okay, Nadia can be a ranger. Ranger it is then. Okay, ranger. And I guess that's that. And now we can reassign the engineer here. I would like to get another engineer, but I guess that will have to wait. Finish the supplies. So black side is right here. Alright then. I am researching magnetic weapons because we got that inspired. Normally I wouldn't be doing it that early, but it just makes sense in this situation. Right, Avatar project. Oh no, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Give me the supplies. Okay, done. Uh, where to? So I could stay at the Templar HQ for a while, but I kind of want to do the other stuff. We got the mission. Recover an item from Advent Train. Delay dark event, high alert. Yes, that's useful. If I can delay it enough, we might be able to counter it. Because right now I literally can't. So that would be useful, yes. We definitely want to do this. Mission timer increased by 1. Enemy tech defense increased by 20 and the towers cannot be hacked. Any mission timers will not start until the squad breaks concealment. Right, well, I want a specialist for this one anyway. And uh, right, since my squad will be changed when I save and reload anyway, I'm just going to set up this squad before the next episode. So uh, that's going to be the end of this one. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it to Mind Control Advent. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.